Yo, what up, what up, fam? My name is Wilson. Welcome to the channel where I'll talk about all things food delivery. I gotta get this day started by taking a selfie here. Let's see if I can do it real quick. Oh, it worked. Gotta take off my helmet real quick. All right. <laughs> All right, we're getting started here on day 15 of April Behind Bars. Yep. A month long money making challenge. I am way behind, but it's all good. I made some good ground yesterday. Uh, I got a I got a $400 day. Wild. I thought I was only going to hit my quota, but uh, I ended up getting some good orders near the end. I'll tell you guys a little bit more about that. If you guys didn't watch yesterday's episode, so, by the way, I was thinking of uh, start numbering my my uh, videos. Does that make so many of them? I wanted to go back all the way from the beginning and then count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then just come all the way to today. And that means today will be episode X and X. I have like 500 videos out, but not all of them are are like. You know like these these kind of videos some videos like are like i'm off-roading or um i'm talking about something i'm promoting a product or whatever you know i'm talking about the backpack or shit like that i don't know if those will count those are uh, they'll be under a different category but yeah i won't do that because it'll be like episode 498 god damn season so and so i don't know if i'll break it into seasons although i could though i don't know what makes sense season one season two season three or just episode i think just episodes will be cool anyways guys welcome uh it's monday april 15th i'm coming out here at 10 o'clock i uh, went to the post office to drop off a few kits of QV uh, V kit 140 pros the kit for this backpack that I have and a few kits for the V kit 65 which is my first backpack ever so that surprisingly still gets used a lot it's one of the most uh, for pack year it's one of his best selling backpacks and yeah I think um, it's a great backpack it's perfect size perfect starter backpack I know some people like to go for a smaller backpack but oh, right away they want to go for a bigger backpack oh these guys didn't let me go in front of them all right thank you these truckers be reading other people's minds they're like like I feel like I'm getting at a good skill level where I can kind of understand traffic but truckers truckers are in a whole different ball game of expertise while driving he knew my intentions that's why he stopped where he was at and he like let me go in he's like this guy's gonna want to go in front <laughs> and you gotta be ultra cautious with a 16 18 20 we don't even know how many wheels these things have because those things are those are things are way diff more difficult to stop i feel like um Big trucks like that and motorcycles are, are the most challenging to stop right away. One of them is because they're super heavy. And then when they're fully loaded, shit. And then two wheels because we lose traction, we'll skid. So those two are like the, uh, you, be, you need to be very uh, skilled and know what you're doing to not get in an accident cars got it the easiest but i bet you cars get in the most access probably because there's the most on the road anyway guys i'm already blabbering and we just we haven't even gotten the first clip out the way <laughs> all right well i got uber eats logged in doordash you already know i'm gonna log in a little bit more down that way i don't want to get out under these outskirt orders because uh, i will have to do them i'll try to keep that acceptance acceptance rate high which by the way been doing a good job i'm at 78 percent acceptance rate gotta stay above 70 plus i really want to give myself a big ass wiggle room because i might do week number three wait this is week three i guess week number four I might do that in a different city 
also uh, I gotta tell you guys about a barbecue slash maybe camp trip I'm trying to host for Cinco de Mayo weekend take a break from uh, the madness the, the, the hustling but hang out with uh, hang out with the squad hang out with the hustlers if you guys are interested I'll show you guys where you guys can reach out and I'll send you the deets I was thinking of just doing a one night thing uh, go there early in the morning spend all day there people if you guys don't want to camp you guys can go home for, the, for those that want to camp we can camp chill there come back and ride the next morning boom that'd be cool Anyways, thanks for joining guys. Let's, let's get some money Again The scotch tape I had put it somewhere too like where I wouldn't forget it and I forgot it um, All right, well anyway look I finally have a setup I Finally have gotten a great setup for the rain So yesterday I spent most of the day in uh, working in the rain And um it did pretty good nothing fucked up nothing uh, got messed up everything survived like usually my phone will start malfunctioning I couldn't charge it uh, I had to put cables away uh, what else I would get wet you know like but now I got a setup where I got home yesterday and my hands had dried up already because it stopped raining. Oh, nine dollars here, so let's do it. McDonald's coming in clutch this morning. Yeah, so my gloves and my shoes, my uh, those boots that I have, completely kept the water out. My feet were dry. There was only a point where I had my feet sticking out and I ran over a puddle. And then my, the side of my feet got wet and a little bit got in my sock, but that dried up pants were dry there was a little bit in the my back where the waistband is where a little bit of water came in and i kind of felt it like I, when i was taking it off i was like oh it's a little cold so it must have got a little wet torso was dry head was dry i was fine the whole time warm there was probably a few times where my hands got a little cold but that's because these clothes aren't waterproof but that's it i mean i got something that I can take in the rain and I feel like I, I got in a you know at first I was like hell no I'm not gonna work in the rain because of the problems and just because it's a lot riskier um, but you know people do it all, all, every day all over the world there's people where they get rained for months so they still ride their bikes they get the hang of it they're like alright cool damn look at that matte black cyber truck oh I definitely want to catch up to that bad boy that should look beast no, I'm not gonna catch up to that thing. So yeah, uh, so now um, rain—that's one huge thing that uh, it opens up a lot of windows. Not gonna start going up north, like San Francisco, and not really care too much about rain because I know sometimes every time I want to go to San Francisco, I'll look at the weather. I'm like, oh no, nah, it's gonna rain this week. It'll rain like one or two days out of the week. It, it rains a lot more frequently up there than here. But now it's like, bring it on, baby. I got it. I, I, I got it. I could, I could go ride in the rain, and I'll be all right. I just got to be careful because they got steeper hills over there. I'm not trying to lose traction on the way down on one of those hills. That's why I, I feel like I have to ride, like, super slow. But your boys, like, somewhat semi-mastered the, the rain setup. And that's going to be a video of its own. So I'll show you guys what I got took some time so you guys can see how to waterproof this dash cam button all right let's go pick up the first order of the day ten dollars in the bag plus ten see what's going on in this mcdonald's i've caught a few fights here everyone's calm this morning Check it out, McDonald's started doing this. Starting to pack up shit up in these new boxes. Cool, cool. Oh shit, I left my bag open. Damn, I'm gonna steal my shit. 
gotta seal it up. You're just asking to get jacked like this. I think I was looking for my scotch tape. I didn't put it in here. Nope. Close that up. There we go. Dash. Uh oh, I always get nervous now every time I log into DoorDash. Are you gonna send me trash? Or are you gonna send me some good? Technically, I can decline every three out of ten deliveries. But even that puts me like in a weird spot. Like a pity. All right, Earth Cafe. That's a good one. A pity. Nine bucks basically. I'm gonna round it off. Man, yesterday, uh, you know, I do these little calculations, try to get as close as possible. But sometimes I usually undercount because uh, it usually ends up being less than what I really have. Because, uh, you know, when I deliver some deliveries, there's hidden tips or, or it's more, a little bit more than what uh, was originally uh, offered. And by the end of the day, all that adds up and i tend to have more but you know to go to all these to count all the dashes and then add up all the numbers it just takes a, it's a little bit uh time consuming and i really can't do that on the go so yesterday i thought i needed like 10 bucks to hit 400 so i took these shitty deliveries oh my god it was the worst deliveries of the day because uh boy local made me wait in the drive-thru like i went to their lobby their lobby was closed like oh you gotta go through the drive-thru i was like all right fine i didn't see anybody i didn't think it was gonna be busy those three cars waiting in that motherfucker i had to wait for like 10 minutes by the time i was gonna get to the window i could have been assigned but i'm like no i want to hit the pole honey and then i got another add-on for like four bucks i was pissed i was like these are tiny deliveries in contrast to what i just did i did a 40 dollar one a 25 dollar one a nine dollar one so it's like it's like looking at pennies you're like wait what is this <laughs> i felt forced and then when i got home i realized that i actually have i had already hit 400 so i was like damn i was i shouldn't i, I shouldn't have done that but whatever i did it i got it out the way 412 dollars yesterday what bam that's about 35 dollars an hour that's a that's a solid day. That should that should be a regular day, to be quite honest. That that should be what I. That's what we should be making all the time. If we're out here hustling, damn, 15 bucks. Let's do it. Farmer's boy. All right, so I'm gonna pick this up, drop it off, and then go to Farmer's boy. Damn, baby, that's plus nine, plus 15. Oh, we getting money today. See, 34 bucks. What I tell ya. 35 an hour baby hasn't even been an hour yet we just started all right earth cafe please be ready yeah these guys are pre do a pretty good job at always having their stuff ready oh yeah this one's going south right yes it is i don't know what these guys are waiting for Uh -oh. Hi, I pick up for Hassan. Be ready, be ready, be ready. It's ready. Oh, Louis Vuitton bag getting arrested. I mean, women with Louis Vuitton bag, I think it arrested. There's three cars here, so she's probably being extra. You can tell about her body language, she's been a little extra. That's why the cop, that's why he's got backup. He probably asked for backup, like, yeah, back me up. She might start tripping. Um, man, this is too early to be getting in trouble. Yeah my scotch tape baby <laughs> hell yeah so i was thinking i'm like future i'm like like old me was thinking future william was gonna forget so let's put it somewhere where he's gonna find later because he needs to take that with him so i hacked myself 
I was like, look, homeboy gonna forget 100%. This is me having discussions of my own flaws. So I'm over here having a conversation with myself, like, look, this dumb motherfucker is gonna forget 100%. So let's just put it somewhere where he knows, like somewhere, in, you know, and I thought, we'll put it in the jacket pocket. He's gonna forget about the tape, but he's not gonna forget the jacket. And then he'll find the tape later. Bam! Found the tape. I was like, what the hell's in here? Like, this thing, things, things fall out of this pocket. Why would I put, oh, the scotch tape. Smart. A six, a $7 order for six miles. I took it, but I'm pissed. I'm like, damn. <laughs> I don't want my acceptance rate to start going down. So, here's what I did. I ended up getting another offer for uh, an for another seven bucks going the same way and then I got another one for another five bucks just now it ended up being worth it so <laughs> my frown turned upside down baby so seven dollars turned to what 14 5 19 19 bucks plus five all right Cool. Where the hell is this place at? Hold on. Taco Tum Tumbras? Where is this? Is this a new spot? I've never heard of it. Is it this one? No, it's not this one. Alright, I gotta find it. So, usually to find spots in here, I Google it. Taco Tum Tumbras. And then I try to find a picture of it. All right, now I know. I remember which one it is. It's right over there. Buy a pepper spray. Yeah, I got you. Do you know which one you need? That gel spray. The the one that goes in a straight line. Doesn't blow back. Yeah, that one. What size? Bro? What size do you have? Let me get that one and a bigger one. This big? Yeah, uh, that one's perfect actually. Okay, you got it, that's it, right? Yeah, that's it. Alright. <laughs> yeah. 24 bucks. Well, I know I might have that one for a long time, so. I lost my other one. I don't know where that thing went. I had a big old one. The police ones. Let's see what this one this is about. This one is a crossfire. Alright, this is a good size though. The other one was longer and it was a little better, but this one fits in my pocket. Oh yeah, baby. Alright, uh, that's probably one of the best things you can carry. Self-defense. Or deter. You know, something, someone's coming at you. You don't want to, you don't want these, uh, you don't want anyone to get close to you, first of all. If you're having a little... If you feel a little like unsafe or something might happen because uh yeah these guys might have knives gun and um you ain't gonna win that battle just fucking spray bounce what you want to do is de-escalate stuff i don't know and it gives me a peace of mind having a having something i do have my burner uh it's a launcher but it looks like a, it looks too much like a real gun and the problem with that is like I could use it as self-defense, but once I take that thing out, someone's calling the cops that I have a gun and then I could get in big trouble. I can get shot, worst case scenario, by cops. I have a helmet, so what if they see they're coming at me and I don't know after something happened and then I'm taking my phone out? I'll get blasted on the spot. Oh shit, this is a big order. John A. Damn, Johnny. Picking up for Johnny. Is those two? Damn, he's not tipping. Fucking Johnny. Alright, thank you. This is the one that I'm telling you that was like six miles. This is a straight up no tip order right here. Now I'm even more pissed. <laughs> I'm back to being pissed again. Shit. 
Man, this sucks. Alright, let me put this away. I'm gonna need all the room I can get. So first off, let's put the drink away. And let's organize these bags. I really didn't even notice the amount of items. I might have to cancel this Popeye's one. If it has a drink, the Popeye's one, I'm going to have to cancel it. What do you guys think? This, this order is $6.50. And I'm pretty sure the bill is well over $100. I think this might be a straight up no tip delivery. It's front, it's all, it has to be all face paint because of the mileage. So this is a zeroed out tip order on a large order. That's crazy. But there's a few things. One, it could it could just be hidden and it will come out, which oh man, I kind of doubt on this order. Two, they could give me a, a cash tip. Or three, yeah, it could just be. Like, yeah. <laughs> Fuck you get the courier line the tipping nothing. Could have been from a previous uh bad interaction. It could just be non tippers, you know, there's people out there like that that just no matter what they just won't tip. It's just not in their culture, it's not in their belief system, it's just they're broke as shit. I don't know. It could be a lot of things. I had a friend once that who made he made who made all these excuses of why he wouldn't tip. The truth was that he was just broke. He didn't have no money. So he tried to justify why tipping didn't make sense. Like, all right, Reservoir Dog. Just say you ain't got money. Keep it real. I gotta come to terms that I might, this might be a big order with no tip. I should be yeah, cool with that. Cause at first it was just gonna be seven bucks, which was pretty bad already. But then I got this add-on for like, what was it, another seven, eight? Cool, so this turned out to be like a $15 delivery, which that is decent for these for this double, this stack. Because right now, I'm like my, my thoughts are starting to... take over. They're starting to be like, you better say something, bro. You gonna let them punk you? <laughs> <laughs> oh damn, see, I can't, can't let this, uh, can't let these intrusive thoughts win. <laughs> Let's just go drop it off at this corporate office and bounce and get back to work. It's actually 11.22 too, so like Monday, shit. It's, um, it's supposed to be, uh, busy on Mondays during lunchtime. So they just knock this out and head back ASAP. Look at this gate. It's like feels like a border wall on this side. Trash. Barbed wire fences everywhere. That building doesn't look very safe. Looks like the compound that Osama bin Laden was hiding in. Where am I? Where did I, where did, where have done where I have done landed in? Lego styled concrete uh, gate wobbles there. Uh, it's like it looks like Legos. They just stack them, and then uh, like bricks almost. They have the little cups on the top. So and then the other ones have like the little holes. So it, yeah, it's like Legos, concrete Legos. They put that there. It's right next to the the, the train tracks. They put that there because during the pandemic. Um, Somebody derailed the train on purpose. They derailed one of the trains, one of the shipments that comes from Long Beach, or the San Pedro ports. Because those things are full of shit, right? They're full of uh, all these goods. So what they did is they derailed the train, so the, the train was stuck, and they opened the shipping containers and they just started stealing everything from, from that, that was in there. And as soon as um, they reported it on the news, uh, it was game over. 
then people started flocking to the train tracks because those trains were stuck you know they weren't moving anywhere and, and they were, it was going to take time to get that train back on its tracks and get it moving bro by that by the time they fix the train and everything they have already like hijacked they already like basically took over all these containers they opened so many of them and just started stealing all kinds of stuff covid tests tvs any any shipment tires like you'll just see like the boxes with uh, empty boxes people just going in the opening the boxes seeing what's in there taking whatever they wanted it was a free-for-all it was wild man shit i got a little tempted to pull up myself um <laughs> it's funny but uh yeah so that that ended up oh man did i take the wrong freeway whoops i guess my customer's gonna have to wait i was supposed to go that way so yeah so what they did right after that they built that fence that concrete gate all around all along the train tracks to deter people from entering it's such a crazy uh crazy thing that happened is out of a movie i swear but it happened in los angeles one of the quote-unquote richest cities in the world <laughs> Ooh, those guys came up uh, potentially big order no tip order where it looks very cor corporate-y look at that I get anxiety just looking at those buildings Jesus it's kind of maybe thinking I might there might be a hidden tip but I just realized what building I'm delivering to I'm delivering to the state of California Department of Social Services there is no way in hell I ain't getting nothing from this delivery man I bet I should tip them brother they're dealing with social services for the state god damn bro they're probably all mad in there man do i have cash i think i have cash bro i'm gonna leave these guys a tip bro this is one of the most hardest jobs government state job dealing with people services let me get my cash ready bro give them a little tip bro for Hanging in there. 404. 400. Did I pass it? This one was 406. It's probably this one right here. 402. 406. What the hell? Let me call this dude. It was ordered by somebody in in india for their company so i went in there and then i'm like <laughs> i was like all right so is this your order are you johnny i was trying to find out who johnny was and they were like oh no he's some guy he's not here he's in somewhere else i was like is there anything outstanding and then i was like no i uh, usually when we leave a big order like this you know usually you know you know usually they leave us a tip but if not it's cool he's like oh they didn't tip i was like absolutely nothing and then he was like oh shit uh i guess he was trying to figure out how thank you i was like no nah, it's cool i just wanted uh, someone to know that your boy didn't tip there I'm, I'm satisfied that's it that's all i had to do it's not like he's gonna be able to rate me it wasn't his account all right guys well social services building <laughs> let's go back to dtla everybody do we know who's doing the challenge how much money y'all got are y'all getting robbed like i just did right now <laughs> oh we ordered from india what I got scammed. <laughs> even his, even the coworker was shocked. Like he didn't know what to do. He was like, "What?" But it could be a cultural difference. I don't know if he's legit saying that. Yeah, he, it was ordered by the boss. The boss is in India, and I'm assuming he might be Indian. 
maybe there's like a cultural difference you know because i know certain like when you travel um well when i traveled uh, i remember my buddy telling me like hey don't chip here because they don't give a shit um they don't it's not like they're not they don't expect it and they don't even know what to do with it they'll probably think you're making a mistake and they'll give you the money back so just don't tip i was like interesting i know japan is is uh it's is really uh it's not a, a tipping uh culture i was in thailand they're they're not tipping i know some areas though they'll, they'll take your money though uh, where else i was in norway they also didn't have a tipping culture um by the way norway norway is rich they'll probably they'll probably take it to a fence if you try to give them extra money like what the fuck is this i don't need this but it's interesting right how like over here i'm over here getting boiling up but i have to understand that uh people view things these uh this whole tipping thing uh differently we're used to it because that's i mean we've been told that since the since forever i guess since i was born tipping has been around here in this country 14 doll hairs damn it i can't take that because i already took one with oop the doordash so yeah somebody posted in the comments i mean in the crankosa group because i posted it yesterday how i did a two deliveries for 750 with no tip see if anything yesterday was even worse two deliveries for 750 no tip this one was just really far and it was a big order they could have slipped a little something in there even the water the dude could have just gave me a hug and i would have been like all right, all right, all right cool cool thank you thank you i would have felt a little better nothing bro <laughs> but yeah so someone posted it like i posted that non-tip order and how i was kind of like forced to do it because uh if not we get pretty much punished like if if, if we don't take certain orders because they're bad orders eventually um we're gonna get punished because then they're gonna be like okay you're not accepting a certain amount of deliveries so now we're not gonna give you um uh, orders that are high paying now we're gonna kick you down to the group where you guys are gonna get all the shit orders and they we get punished and i don't even i don't think that's legal as independent contractors but i don't know i don't be reading the fine print on these things but there's lawyers that do Hello, what's up man I would pick up for Melissa. Seven minutes, seven-ish minutes. All right. Thank you. Seven-ish minutes. So I'm gonna wait so I can unassign and I'm gonna bounce. Order still been prepared when I arrive. All right. Breakfast bowl. Damn. They need ten minutes on it. All right, I guess. But yeah, so. Uh, class action lawsuit possibly I don't it doesn't make sense why the uber doesn't do it at least they don't tell us blankly like hey if you don't accept this many orders we're gonna uh, not send you good ones they could be doing it behind the scenes you know they could give you they could be giving the people with a uh, high acceptance rates those orders see I could do this one real quick for nine bucks I'm kind of stuck here though. The type in the elevator code on these six digit thing. My thing is that why the hell do they put it down here? Why can't they just put it right here? Right here, right here. I mean, I'm pretty sure that because they just can't, they're stumped in here, but that's so inconvenient. Look, got a ta the toss soups. I would have not known what to do. If it wasn't for this, my kit here. So I'm going to use the kit to make sure this thing stays upright. Second order, just got a drink. I also have a solution for that. You know what, it actually fits in here. Bam. Alright. That's it. We're set. For 24. 24 bucks. A DoorDash. One was from Robex. There's a shake in there. The girl kind of packaged it a little sketchy, but 
I think uh, it's just a shake. If it was a drink, I'd be a little more cautious. And today is warmer than I expected. And yeah, I gotta I'll probably take off my thermo up top later on. But yep, it's a warm day today. Since I ended up over here in uh, Cape Town, Korea Town, I got according to my calculations, I'm at 130. Although I could be wrong, earlier some shit didn't add up. But uh, I guess I'll find out later on. Oh, oh, oh. Is that DoorDash? Yep, $6 one. McDonald's? Alright, let's go get it. This is where I made those 40 bucks yesterday. I did a delivery. It was $35 base pay. <laughs> Shit made no sense. It was like a regular order. Nothing special about it. $5 tip. Gave me a big boost. And then following that, I got a $25 DoorDash delivery. For like 10 chocolate dipped covered strawberries that one was also um, mostly base pay so yeah hookup it was crazy I accidentally came in here I was gonna go all the way to downtown LA I was coming from the valley and I just hit a bunch of traffic I was like nope I got off on the on Vermont exit and then boom landed this Hey, what's up? I got a pickup for uh, 135 for DoorDash. Let that be it. Yeah. Thank you. 135. All right. Wosher. Another Wosher. Call me when you get to the lobby. Well, you're only like three minutes away. Well, I think the lady's getting kicked out. Or she's about to get kicked out. Check it out. For me, for those skaters out there, tell me this doesn't look tempting. Roll on here, gap it to like I don't know, blunt slide, maybe like a tail slide. Oh yeah, blunt slide, cause then you can launch out that way. That'd be sick. That'd be hella beast. Cause you gotta, there's no way to land on that side, so you have to kind of go over the rail, or you could just do a trick over the rail, like a front side flip. Yeah, right, I'm regular, so I will have to, yeah, front side flip, 180, if you want to keep it simple. 180, that gap, boom. Front side flip will be sick, though, if you're regular. Boom. I still imagine shit like that. Once I lose, like, 20, 30 pounds, I got a skateboard. I'm going to go skate out there. Can't be skating when you're heavy as shit. Gravity loves you wants to keep your ass on the ground son so when you lose a little bit of weight you can uh, stay in the air a little longer like milliseconds but that shit makes all the difference plus you can balance yourself better because i think i talked about it before i did a cleanse i was meal prepping and i stopped drinking i lost like 30 four, almost 40 pounds fast like in a week not mean a week <laughs> god damn it was like a, a like half month and a half and um i was like oh shit my friend came over he had a board i was like i mean i still remember how to do a lot of tricks you know and i was like let me do, let me try it right away boom kick flip got it 360 flip got it heel flip got it heel flip berry almost got it and i just started you know trying to do all my old tricks Oh, great i was probably doing it for like a whole hour hour and a half the next couple days i was sore as hell but you know that's all it was it's like even though i remember how to do those tricks i remember how to do those tricks minus fat oh shit non-profits calling me they yeah, haven't answered this suspect when i was leaving mcdonald's i text my customer i'll be there in three minutes because i know it's like really close when I got here, she was already down. She she replied, okay. And then uh, when I got here, she was already in the lobby. Boom. See, um, these small deliveries. Oh damn. Uh -huh. They're cool when they're when they're short and they're quick. 
you still stacking. Should I add it? Plus, it was 650, right? Plus seven. <laughs> I'm asking like if you guys are gonna respond. All right, uh, come on, DoorDash, another six dollar one. All right, Taco Bell this time. Where's Taco Bell? Uh, okay, I gotta go back. Six doll hairs. And this is probably why I'm gonna continue to try to uh, continue getting platinum status. And if you guys are watching this, you should too. Um, because, you know, right now, uh, LA is pretty saturated. If you don't have, uh, if you don't schedule yourself, and yeah, if you don't have platinum service, you can't just dash on uh, any market. And LA is kind of like, there's a bunch of markets. So if you get sent out of your market that you're scheduled for, you got to go back. So yeah, even these little orders that I'm getting, just knock them out real quick. Boom, six, here's another six dollars. My 143. Let's get it out the way. Like I said, better some money than no money. But you gotta strategize um, when you turn the app on and when you don't. Once you get that platinum status, yeah, just don't don't just start the app anywhere. Go to hotspots and then turn it on. They're filming a movie. I was in there yesterday. This guy was friendly. He was trying to. I think he was just bored. He was trying to do a co quick combo. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those old buildings feel a little haunted. They got that little vibe, which is probably why they're filming there. I bet you it's a horror movie. All right, talk about coming up. Uh, Pedro, he's out in the East Coast and he does uh, DoorDash mainly, I think. Uh, does deliveries in the car. I met him once. They came out here. They came out here for like a, a meetup and my boy Franco, Tony Franco invited me um, came through it was cool, they were talking about like all these, uh, all this technology that they're trying to, they're gonna use to basically to replace us <laughs> they just didn't want to say that automation, you know and anyway, he just posted a video, uh, someone posted it in my crank Hustle group about DoorDash um uh, at requiring an 80% acceptance rate which is wild um, but I I mean they already did that with the uh, completion rate they re increased it from 80% to 90% so I'm like in a way not surprised that they're gonna do this they're gonna um, bring it up to 80% so you guys, if you guys are have platinum status or whatever you guys are going for, you gotta start preparing yourself for that. Check it out, I'm at 81%, so I'll be good. Just gotta, like I said, strategize. Any drink? Yeah, I got a Baja Blast Freeze. All right. Red light, right here with a freeway entrance. Almost hit a red car. Crazy. This is a red white car right here on the left. Gotta be careful. Did all that still stuck in traffic, baby? Here. My boy has resurrected. Came out in DTLA. <laughs> Smoking a cigarette in the corner. Jesus. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so uh, I got a tip from my boy, the outdoor experience. He's telling me that I have to wait a couple seconds when I hit, uh, after I hit record. I push the button and as soon as I press the button I start counting one two three so as soon as you guys heard my voice that's how long it takes for my GoPro to actually turn on start recording and then and obviously start recording uh, like actually 
get capturing the film so i'm gonna watch this clip and know how long I, like how many seconds i need to count before i start speaking that way it doesn't start like mid set sentence because your boy is trying to talk and yeah it doesn't go through you guys don't hear the full sentence so let me hear it right now and see at what second i gotta start on uh dune pickup and drop off for 14 it was 11 but it had a plus and then it being three dollars more and uh i also got another one that is eight plus this is three shrimp combo so that's like 18 dollars a plate times three how much is that uh 50 54 something like that plus taxes and all that so might be a tip in this one parked there next to the old school zuma old school new school need to learn though i burn baby burn like this go inferno listening to some old school hip-hop right now i was listening to tupac earlier right now i'm listening to dj quick there it is autoplay Oh yeah, so uh, <laughs> I forgot to speak on the video. So now uh, it takes six seconds or five because I started, I, I, I counted to uh, one as soon as I press the button. So I guess five seconds. It takes for me to, since uh, I hit the button till it starts recording. There's a five second gap, god damn. So I usually start talking like three seconds in four seconds in so there's like usually like one or two seconds missing of speech so god damn <laughs> i've been doing this for how long for like years and i've never like picked that up well i always knew it was a delay i never actually took the time to count the seconds and now that i did i'm like shocked that it's five long ass seconds so now every time i got there i gotta i gotta i gotta press I guess I'll press it and I'll hit one and then when I as soon as I say six I'll instead of saying six I'll speak so like boom two three four five speak so all right I gotta get man I gotta make that a habit so that way like every time I start the video it's it's clean from the beginning of the sentence now I will apologize in advance because even though I am aware of it now it takes some time to build that muscle memory but i'm glad that i was able to see it thanks for pointing it out i'm gonna, I'm gonna try it moving forward for the rest of the day let's see uh if i can actually capture uh, capture it every time picked up uh yeah this um uno hawaii Oh yeah, I was saying about the the amount, right? It's about uh, this guy spent over sixty bucks for sure plus tip. So I'm looking. It says I'm getting eight dollars. It's gonna be like three fifty base pay. I think they dropped like an eight dollar tip in there. Oh shit! I already passed the fucking address. God damn! It's on uh, 24th and Broadway. All right, it's all good. So that means three fifty plus eight. Let's just say I'm gonna get 1250. I'm just taking a wild guess. All right, so let's find out how much I got. Ten dollars. All right, so six dollar tip. Four dollars base pay. That wasn't that off. I was off like by two dollars. Sweet. So the tip was six instead of eight. Right. That's what I. That's the math I've done, right? I said 450 base and uh, eight dollar tip. All right, still good though. Let's go back to DTLA. Uh, it's three o'clock and I'm at 183. If I could get to 200 ASAP, that'll be dope. So now that um, all the Uber Eats tips have come in. I can accurately see how much money I have made. I got 50 bucks on 50 bucks on Uber Eats, 5036, and then I got 126 on 
DoorDash. So fifth, that's one six, one seventy six. All right, yeah. So I was off. I'm off by like seven dollars. So let's subtract seven. All right, cool. There, we're back on track, baby. I think because earlier um, I had canceled one and I didn't subtract it or something like that. So I'm at 176, y'all. I need 24 more bucks to hit 24. These guys are playing the game. They're playing quarters. Oh, I remember I used to play that with my coworkers at uh, when I worked at a warehouse. One of my first jobs, I was a production runner at Mighty Fine. Did that job for like a year. During our break, I guess the the thing is, what is it? You get you get qu quarters and uh, you try to throw them. Uh, near this line but not past it so the person that gets closest to the line keeps all the coins that are thrown it's a good pastime I remember uh, working that job and kind of doing the math like how much we got paid after taxes and it was funny because I would like be like you realize we're making like a nickel every like I forgot what it was but it was like super low it was like every minute we're only making like like cents and I'll bring it up because I thought it was like damn that's like that I was like 18 17 who knows I was like young I was like bro that's poor as shit <laughs> like what are we doing here I remember thinking that and everybody kind of just like blew it off like but yeah I remember playing those games during lunch fucking playing quarters what kind of game is that? We should play uh Jewelry, what's up? <laughs> See who gets closest to the line. Like uh, all the construction workers are off here at this project, this left one. Everyone's off. These guys come in early. Like at five in the morning. It's nice though to be off and then still have like what is it three? You got four, five, six, seven. You got four hours of daylight, four hours of nighttime. They probably sleep early as hell, but I rarely be enjoying my uh, daylight, <clears throat> like off work when I do these challenges. Unless I come out at seven, which I'm supposed to be doing, then we're talking about getting off around seven and then enjoying 30 minutes of sunlight. <laughs> By the time I get home, that shit's gone. I'm looking at the countries where tipping is not customary. Japan. Oh, I forgot to do the counting. Damn it. So here are some countries where tipping is not customary. Tipping, uh, Japan. Tipping is not customary in Japan where good service is expected and considered the norm. China. Tipping is not established practice in China and may be considered offensive or unprofessional. Instead, Chinese culture emphasizes hospitality as part of service. New Zealand has resisted the trend of tipping due to its traditional British roots. Australia. Australia doesn't have a tipping tradition because service charges are already included in the bill. Of, or Australia already charges you the tip up front. <laughs> Denmark. All right. Thank you, man. Denmark. Yeah, see, this is why I can't read shit on the go. Denmark uh, service staff in Denmark is enjoy relatively good wages and it's normal not to pay tips France France doesn't have a big tipping culture but the staff will always appreciate a small tip some restaurants add a service charge to your bill okay kind of like Denmark oh no kind of like uh, who is it Australia they'll bill you for it already and in other countries not customary include not tipping tipping is not customary in these countries French, Polynesia, Switzerland, Brazil, Hong Kong, Belgium, Estonia. So while we're over here in America, you know, um, get complaining about tipping culture, there's countries where that shit ain't even, even considered and almost offensive. <laughs> imagine tipping, imagine going to China and you tip and you get slapped. Like, what? They snap the what's the name of the money over there in China? I was gonna say yen, but I think that's Japan. In in Thailand is bot. What do you call money in China? 
bootleg. That's what. <laughs> that's the that's the currency in, in China. I'm about to get slapped for real by Chinese man. All right, let's go do this drop. Uh, another eight plus, and then I'm getting ten dollar tip for this one. Eight seventy five base pay. So it was nine, but we're we'll add another six to it. One ninety one, baby. Shit, I forgot to count again. I'm telling you, it's gonna take time to make it a habit. I think I started talking in like the first three seconds. I was supposed to wait like another two seconds. So this picture here is from uh, downtown third place. Old houses and a glimpse of the new skyline. Sick. This looks familiar from movies. I've seen that before. Excuse me. Uh, double here. Seventeen fifty. Eighteen bucks basically to go all the way to south of Huntington Park to do it. Why not? It's by my house anyway. I know the area. I could just take Alameda. Alameda's always a straight shooter over there. Get there quick and get back really fast. So seven eighteen plus eighteen. Ooh, ooh, all right. I locked in my first uh, my first two hundred of the day. Two oh nine. So I got uh, how much money do I got left? Oh, I'm getting an add-on, baby. No, it's just a notification. All right, that's pretty good, though. The restaurants, though, I do not recognize. Korean Kimbap Express, Seventh Street. Interesting. You know, uh, another um, another solution to the uh, delay and um, like you know, how when I hit record, there's that five, five second delay. There's another solution to it. Um, which is uh, leaving the GoPro on all the time so that way when I hit the button it like starts recording immediately and then when I hit the button you know I mean it's not really about it's mainly the beginning because the GoPro has to turn on and you know it's a computer so but if it's all if it's on anyway all the time I could just hit the button and boom so what's the problem there my battery's gonna die faster but I do have four GoPro batteries so I really want to be swapping the batteries that many times not really but here's the other option the other option is I run the cable from my GoPro <clears throat> I could run the cable from the media mount through my helmet maybe the, the wire to, to the back into my jacket that goes into like one of my pockets and in the pocket I could carry like an external power bank like a big one like I have one that's like 20,000 milliamps and that should help it last the whole day that way I could just hit the button and boom recording no delay also for those sudden moments where things happen right away I don't have to wait those five seconds sometimes I, I literally legitimately miss things because everything things happen so suddenly this will be a good way from uh, deterring that or preventing that from happening yeah I don't know anyway so look I gotta pick up here this is the address Korean Kimbap I've never been to it but I'm just assuming it's downstairs because this is where most of the restaurants are man I could be way wrong 700 with 7 where are you I'm about to google you oh it's up there I was way wrong damn alright I guess just this one time I'm gonna have to do this the long way but now I know where it's at it's new so there's this other restaurant Mr. Fisher's 
that um, never picked up from here. It's either a lunch truck or it says here call the store after you arrive. You can park on the street by street parking. It has to be a lunch truck. That's the only thing that makes sense. I don't think they'll have a. I don't know. We'll see. I'll keep y'all posted. When is gonna come out the building? There's this building here in front. Someone's gonna come out and meet me and just hand me the food. So that's wild. It's, it's a kitchen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask them right now. What is the deal? Oh man, gotta watch out the tourist here. You know, I'll just walk. So it's gonna come out right here. Mr. Fisher's. I'm gonna ask him. Oh, it's gonna be a minute. I think he was still upstairs. What's up, man? It's for Jordan? Yeah. yeah? What is it like a. Oh, okay, okay. Alright, so you guys just bring it out? Yeah. Future I'll reference? Alright, so I can either wait here. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a hot spot now. Okay. It sucks because it's my house. But yeah. <laughs> oh, so you're doing it at your at your yeah. place? Oh, that's sick, man. <laughs> All right. Um, if you come like around like 8, 9, bro, it'll be good order. Okay. Like, good. 8 o'clock around it's this. Like order, so really? Yeah. All right. So we like catering, so I'll come with it. Okay, got it. Heads up. All right, thank you, man. All right, so it's like funnel cakes. You said, uh, so during, uh, so he does does it out of his apartment here. So during, he said during nine and 10, that's when it gets busy. And uh, we're doing like big orders, like catering orders. Shit. Well, I'm over this whole area all the time, so I'm gonna keep an, an eye out. If I see a Fisher one, well, I'm gonna accept it. Cause it could be a Fisher one. It's called Mr. Fisher's, right? It could be a, you know, a hidden tip as well. I could say like, it tells you the restaurant up front too. So, so if I do get one from here, it's gonna be exciting to see how much the payout will be. Hopefully, I get a big order. All right, so now we going far, baby. All right, this first one ain't that far, but the second one is. I had a delivery just up ahead but I stopped right here because this is a recycling place and the ground looks just the worst kind of gravel you want to drive on I to even told him like yeah man uh, I stopped right here because I didn't want to go any further he's like yeah there's a lot of nails here I'm like damn <laughs> oh man I kind of want to check my tires but ain't nothing I can do at this point but yeah, I didn't want to. I want. I didn't want to drive in there too. Uh, the main reason, because I was like, wait a minute, I'll look at the putt. The main reason was because uh, it's um, it's a funnel cake. I'm like, aren't those things like super fragile? So I was driving very cautiously. Then I saw that all those bumps on that road. I'm like, man, let me just stop here. And then he said, oh yeah, there's a lot of nails. I'm like, oh shit, he's right. And I started looking at the floor. I'm like, damn. Yeah, good thing I didn't drive in there as much, cause uh, and then I was just being very careful as I went back and reversed. Man, I hope I didn't pick up anything else on that road. All right, so this is a uh, Santa Fe. There's usually heavy traffic on this street, but it's very wide, so there's enough room to lane split, baby. Ooh, and there's these big ass fucking trucks. And then that crack right there, right in the middle of the ground. Yeah, if I, if I was to dip in there, I would almost likely go down. The tr the tire, uh, the, the crack in the ground back there was big enough for the whole tire to fall in there. It's probably like two, three inches deep. 
that's all it takes for you to go down. All right, I'm gonna just keep squeezing through. These cars are too close. Unless this guy's blocking me in on purpose. Alright, made it, made it. So, just got done with this shit. And I am going back, baby. I kind of want to turn the app on right here, but I already know it's going to be utter garbage. I shouldn't even uh, shouldn't even do it. It's gonna wait till I get back. I'll have Uber on, but not door trash because <clears throat> you already know why. So this is Huntington Park. This is a uh, Huntington Park is known for this uh, for their shopping center. It's this big street that that stretches like two miles. And it's just a bunch of shopping centers a bunch of uh, stores a lot of them are closed down already but it's still somewhat thriving check it out it starts here bam baby look at all these shops los tacos los cholos what they also got a theater here sometimes sometimes uh, i'll come to it if I'm on a hella budget and I'm just gonna go catch a quick flick and it ain't something fancy that it ain't like a what's the what's the word what's the word it ain't one of the like those big movies where you know you have to see in a good theater with a good system and a big screen just like a regular movie but you still want to catch it you come to these bootleg I know you guys have those boot those uh, low budget theaters it's like five bucks right here. I think 10 bucks max like it'll be cheaper during the week they got the Spanish subtitles too because right here is like it's like uh, Spanish speaking people dominate this area like I was gonna work at that AT&T this is the AT&T store that I walked in and got a job that's a long story but I walked in there like a boss um, and walked out I looked for a job they said no long story short talked to the manager Spit game, walked out with a full-time job, baby. Didn't pass the background check, though. <laughs> but yeah, look at all these shopping centers, baby. Two miles of this shit. Rated one of the saddest cities in the in the county. They get they get down there with the decorations for Christmas. Uh, you guys see all the wires up from pole to pole. They put all that stuff full of Christmas things, like Christmas decorations. So in the, in, at nighttime, during Christmas, during the holidays, it looks pretty dope. All the trees are lit up with, you know, lights and shit. And there's an in and out here. In and out, it's always packed. It'll be cool to know a little bit of actual history of Huntington Park, but. Oh yeah, here's a quick fun fact. This used to be a very popular cruising location. I'm talking about like packed. I remember being kids, uh, uh, me and my little sister in the back seat. Parents driving through here with their bucket, trying to flex what they, you know, what they, what what car they had at the time. Then you'll see a lot of people, nice cars, loud sound systems, people just hanging out until they banned it. I don't know if it's still banned, but I think if they even if they lifted it, if they lifted the ban, I don't still don't think people will come. I think there's other places for that, but who knows? All right, uh, <clears throat> I took a I don't know how long the break was, but I ordered me an, an unsweetened iced tea. Just sat there, I took a break. Much needed. Feel good? Ready to go on another shit four or five hours till I hit my goal of 333.
up. It's five o'clock and I got two oh nine. I am barely. I need uh yeah a little over a hundred bucks, so it's not too crazy. I probably just need like four hours. Uh, let's get it. So I was looking up uh, the legality of uh, carrying pepper spray. And it shows here that you can, uh, I was reading something in California, because California is very strict, right? You gotta make sure there's no law against something. And um, there's this other spray can that I used to carry. It was pretty tall. I don't think that one was legal to carry. Uh, this one that I have is 1.5 ounces. And the legal amount you can carry is 2.5 ounces. Uh, yeah, 2.5 ounces. So I'm under the threshold, so I'm good. I can carry this legally without getting in trouble. <laughs> it's crazy, right? I gotta like check. And then the, the burner launcher, which is that gun. So it's legal in all 50 states. However, I can't carry the pepper ball ones, the pepper ball bullets, the little round that launch bullets and then they blow up and become, they're like pepper spray, basically. Cause that's not legal in California. The burner is legal, but you cannot open carry a, a replica gun. So if it looks, you can't carry open carry a, a, something that looks like a real gun. And I can see why here in California, like the way that cops respond to something that looks like a gun. Yeah, uh, I've seen so many videos of cops just shooting somebody dead because they had a replica, they had a BB gun or something, and they pointed at a police officer. Someone sees someone with it, they're gonna call the cops once cops get that call that someone with a gun potentially they come in hot they come in hot and uh and if you do anything stupid they're gonna shoot you so and the reason I'm, I'm looking at that is because i have a burner launcher and it looks like a real gun it's gray i got a gray i should have got like green or orange or something that but i got a gray one and it's black and gray or is it all gray it's mostly gray so that thing it shoots uh it shoots uh these little round balls they're probably like the size of a dime and and, and uh they're little balls that are, yeah like the size of a dime and the launcher shoots them very strong and it actually takes somebody down i shot my drywall and they made a hole in the drywall so pretty powerful gun uh, i was also considering carrying it but like i said before i think it'll cause more trouble than good I was like, I'll carry it when I go somewhere else, like San Francisco. It's illegal in San Francisco. You can't carry that in San Francisco. The burnout guns are illegal there. So I can't even carry it there. I will carry it though when I go to Oklahoma, Oakland. Oakland is right across the bridge and it's not, I mean, I don't think they have a law there. And Oakland is like full of crime. So I'm gonna take my pepper spray and the burner. <laughs> Shit. Uh, oh yeah, so the open, oh, the, so the, the, so if they, you do, uh, let's say I do take out the thing, and I shoot somebody, self-defense, but that's a whole case, right? But if you do, sh like if you do show it in public, and you, it's only an infraction, so it's a hundred dollar fine, first defense, three hundred dollar fine. If I gotta pop that thing out and shoot somebody that's in self-defense, I'm gonna, I'll pay that hundred dollar fine if they charge me with it, gladly, shit. But yeah, I'm just looking at the legality of all that stuff. So guys, if you're in California, get yourself a pepper spray. Get the ones that are uh, straight, uh, the ones that don't spray everywhere. Because that, if the wind's against you, it'll come back and mess you up. Get the ones that shoot like in a little, like a water gun. Um, yeah, get one of those. Carry it. 2 point ounces or less. 2.5 ounces or less. Anything bigger, you can get in trouble. If, if the cop knows the law which you know um, it could be a, a, it could be a hit or miss with the cop he could know his shit or not but at least as long as you know that you can carry it let's go up this thing here this is a uh, this well, it was known as a Sears parking lot. I don't know if they have a Sears anymore. It's a Macy's. Yeah, Macy's parking lot. It's 
700 South Flower or 700 West 7th Street. I used to go up to shit on, on my bike. It's pretty fun. It's like nine, ten stories, I think. You know what? I carry my GoPro 360. I should film some uh, video here. It's been a minute. Fourth level. What? That would be higher than that. Let's keep going. Oh shit, I've got a delivery. Hobbit Burger. I didn't even have come out and get a notification. Alright, well to get off. I gotta go to the other side. Hobbit Burger, nine bucks. Damn, I was, I was gonna miss this. Alright, and to go back down, let's go on the other side. Let me go first, lady. I know you guys are gonna be driving slow. Woo, baby. Always fun going down this show. Oh, shit, I'm pretty high. I want to lean into it, but... The more you lean, the better you can turn, but... <laughs> I, don't trust, I don't trust the grip. I don't trust the traction. Feels pretty good, though. Imagine in the rain, I would have went down already. Alright, so this exits through 8th Street and Flower. But I'm actually gonna go down and under because I wanna exit. Is it this way? Aw, oh, damn, wrong exit. Oh, wow. I was trying to exit the other way. I don't even know there is an exit going the other way. I was trying to exit through Hope. I got a question for you guys so here in downtown LA and, and I've noticed this trend in most major cities they they, they uh, say not to park in these meters between this one says 3 and 7 what does it say 3 and 7 p.m. where you get towed that's to uh, so that basically means that this little parking spot turns into a lane right like right now so like it's basically an additional lane added to the street to increase the flow of traffic and usually it's, it's during rush hours now when now if that's the case i notice that a lot of people don't use this like no like i don't use it that much it's only when i want to turn look at this car <laughs> i honked at it too lady trying she was trying to dodge a car and then went into my lane just as i was saying uh people don't consider it that lane to like drive through if, if i'm correct in, in assuming that that's what that lane's opened up for that's why they tell cars not to park there so it could free it up so cars can flow fro, flow better i don't see car very much cars using it maybe because uh, we're our ignorance i guess But yeah, a little observation there. <laughs> Look at this Prius. $115, $115 to hit the quota. It's $542. Uh, I haven't really getting much from Uber. I think I'm going to collect, make most of my money off DoorDash today. But you know what? There has been those days where it does switch. I've gotten situations where DoorDash just stops giving me orders or starts or start getting any good orders and then Uber's just back to back. So right now I only got 50 bucks on Uber and then the rest which is over 150 is DoorDash. Alright you too. Almost lost your phone huh? <laughs> she left her phone in the bathroom. She like passed by and then she like ran back. I was like, oh yeah, she forgot her phone. <laughs> she probably got that little mini heart attack. You know when you um, think you lost your phone or your wallet or keys or something like that? And you get that stroke. You're like, oh snap. And if you lost it, well, you just devast you're just devastated. But when you find it right there, well, it's in your hand. <laughs> 
here like oh thank god oh yeah check it out i got three deliveries for 20 bucks let me confirm them all just so i know which ones i'm dropping off first so town is getting dropped off first that's this one so let's put this one out here since i'm dropping that one off first where are we going okay that building is called i can't remember but it's next to the broad museum So uh, one of the guys helped me out at the register. He had like one of those, looks like one of those mechanic shirts with his name. He let me up, uh, he, he gave me access to this elevator. And he called it by his actual term. These are called cars, not elevators. People use elevators, I use elevators. But, you know, correct term. He's like, take car B. I was like, ah, you're a tech. You have to be right because of the shirt too and he uses the proper term probably uses the term a lot what do we say elevator i mean it's not a wrong term but the technical name for those things are cars check out the metro right above me we racing baby oh i'm going right underneath that bad boy shit better not better not hit an earthquake right now that's the uh they don't call them the gold line anymore they have like a designated letter like a b line c d e but that one goes all the way to azusa pretty sick someone posted a video i remember that you don't even need a car to go camping it was cool because uh i don't know where they live but they took the train all the way to azusa and they just kind of like, I don't know if they biked it or walked it. And he's right. Yeah, they have like some campgrounds right off the station, like not too far from there. Pretty dope. Got a Lala's Grill one for 22 bucks going all the way to Hollywood. Like, uh, let's see how many miles I'll show you guys right here. Six miles. It's pretty far. And then uh, while I was waiting there, it took like maybe maybe 10 minutes it took but while i was waiting there i got a nine dollar offer going the same direction from jason's wine and spirit which was right here they made me wait and i got another nine dollar add-on for mr masala i also took it now this one's going to be a little tricky because um they already made me wait a quite a while at lala's and um and they also made me wait at Jason's Wine and Spirits. I hope there's no wait at Mr. Masala. I gotta do the two Reese ones first and DoorDash last. But because it's a good distance, they give me till 8.03. So, I mean, like the latest I can get there is 8.12. Which gives me how much time? 40, 30, 30 minutes. 20 30 minutes oh the screen is too bright i gotta bring the brightness down on this uh it sucks that this uh screen doesn't do the brightness automatically it doesn't adjust you gotta do it all right there we go but yeah so the total for this these trips is uh let's see 9 plus 9 18 then 22 that's 40 dollars huge boost when I have this delivery in this building I'm like four minutes away from getting a contract violation and I was not getting service right now so right now I'm gonna try to take a picture and submit it but if it doesn't load then it's elevator so slow it's this building's super old but it's really nice it looks like they renovated it I'm gonna give you guys a little tour right now but let me deliver this first all right I got a little nervous I thought I wasn't gonna make it but yeah this is the building here kind of feel like taking the oh look at that kind of feel like just I was gonna say I take the stairs but not it's way too high I'll just take the elevator it's one of these old school ones too very slow
creepy. Alright, I'm exiting the building now. It's got like these uh, creepy candles here. This is sick. Oh, the door. Check out the outside. Gives me like, what's that? The Shining Hotel vibes. You know where the elevator door opens and all this blood gum comes out. Not even supposed to be driving here, but I don't want to be in the way. Sick. Check it out, bro. It looks from the outside. I don't know if it, oh, it's probably too dark. It's like two crosses. The buildings. It's like two plus signs. It's the shape of them. And that's creepy how I went in. I went, I was, as soon as I got to the building, I lost service. I'm like, oh shit, I'm about to run out and <laughs> try to get service. Let's see if I would have made it. See, 312, I would have made it. I would have uploaded it right now. I got it, came out, got internet, uploaded the pig. I would have made it just on time. At, uh, in one more minute, I would have been late. All right, anyway, back at it. I'm at uh, 291. I need like 40 bucks or less. Let's get it, man. Let's, let's wrap up this day. I got a burger lounge pickup. All right, I don't know which way to look. Okay, it's on my right. It's 13 bucks, baby. I just need $31 to hit goal. But where is burger lounge? I think I'm about to skip it. I don't see it anywhere. All right, let me just look for the address. 205, 217. Okay, it's coming up. And the numbers are decreasing. Yeah, they are decreasing. Whoops. Passed it. Alright. Little Yui. Oh, there it is. How come he doesn't say anything? It's right there. Alright. I think right here is a uh, fair parking. Not in anyone's way. Jessica, where are the pickups? Here. Jessica, oh, there it is. This one, this is mine. Any drinks? A shake. Add on for seven bucks. Salt and straw, it's an ice cream spot. Um, they just tell you to go to the fridge and grab it. So that's kind of cool which I did puts me at 311 I believe yep 311 yeah baby two add-ons one for little Caesars pizza for four bucks and a, and a nine dollar one for Uber Eats all going to those hills over there I hope I didn't mess myself up with the Uber one because I know it's going to the hills somewhere I just don't know if hopefully I could access it from the roads I'm taking right now the one for uber eats mango sunrise is a lot of food this is a big uh, bill potentially it could be more than uh, the nine bucks uh, let's go get it first I hope it's 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 ready because it's a big order right around the corner oh man how the hell am I gonna do this so this should support the pizzas wings here pizzas up top all right now I gotta hustle up moment of truth oh my fucking god I have to take a photo
let's bounce so <laughs> all right yes ah oh, thank god there's a way to get there this other alternative route that i'm taking it's all up to the mountains but it's doable adds time to the clock it added like four minutes to the clock but i'll be able to drop off these two uh doordash deliveries first and then uh pull this one off this uber one might be stacked but obviously i won't know to the end or it could not be it's one of those deliveries where i'm like i don't know it could go either way but either way with these uh i'm getting i got closer to my goal i think i'm almost done oh baby i'm just gonna drop off the pizzas first they're like a few blocks away from each other but i'm just gonna do the pizzas first because they're on top and if i do the other one first i gotta do like a i gotta take the shake out from the back move the panel it's gonna take a little longer so since this guy's along the way i called him already told him to wait for me outside well i told him i'm around the block so he's all right i'm gonna head out because it says in the notes to call him when i'm outside you already know we don't call when we're outside we call before we are outside all right it's gonna be here somewhere this is the first time that i've taken this road it's called nicholas canyon well at least i at the moment i have no memory of it but this is going to be cool it goes up straight but then it starts curling up over there whoops is that a slow down sign yeah it is all right so we're about to hit this uh these curves We in the hills, baby. Oh yeah, I've never been through here. Gotta watch out for uh, reindeer, I guess. There's a sign there. Wildlife. Man, I've seen videos of these guys crashing into a uh, deer. There's no time to react. It's like it's rare that you have any. They just literally jump out. And for you to respond, if you're going anything above 30, 35 miles an hour is just how 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 are you gonna stop that's when abs will kick in anti-brake system so you don't slide so your brakes don't lock and you slide because if you slide you're still gonna run into the damn deer you might go underneath it though if you slide <laughs> you'll just mess yourself up and the bike so yeah i've definitely never been through here and a high beam though it lights everything up y'all you know, thinking about earlier getting those off-road lights put two lights just illuminate everything it'll be kind of cool for like those dark areas uh, and then also when I get off the scooter to have an, an on and off switch for the lights so if I do jump out jump out somewhere I can leave the lights on even though I turn the scooter off look she got the, the high beams low beams a dark street so i don't like how my lights i know they're high beams but they really point upward i want them to point a little bit a little bit lower look low beams high beams let's leave the high beams on this is a car coming all right gotta make a right Ooh, baby new territory touching new grounds if you were to stretch out every single road in Los Angeles County I wonder how many miles that would be like how long is it how many miles would you have to touch in order to cover LA County completely I gotta look that question up or if you guys want to look it up right now because I'll probably forget what is the total length of roads in miles in Los Angeles County oh yeah would it be cross-country you think oh yeah I definitely need the high beams actually for these turns it helps me see around the corner oh we're up here baby look we're up here with the with the um with the uh, really nice houses at the with the views oh shit I haven't seen stars in so long I forgot about them 
Like I saw them, I almost got scared. I was like, what's that? Stars, bro. And on the way back, I'm taking a little detour. Just to explore some a little further. It's telling me to go this way. I think this is gonna link me up to Mulholland Drive, which I'm familiar with. I am not familiar with any of these streets though. I hope I get a nice view of the city. I don't think so though, because every view of the city is gonna be a property that's bought off and and a house is built there. So running into a, a view would be so rare. Super rare. I could be mistaken though. Damn, check this out. Alright, gotta make a left. And I believe this is Mulholland Drive. Oh no, it's right here. Coming up to the left. Ah, oh, okay. I know where I'm at now. There's a... There's a famous hiking trail in there. That gets patrolled by cops during the day. I wonder if they're patrolling this at night. Yeah, this is it right here. Check it out still open it's open for hiking I could squeeze my scooter through there too but I'm trying to get in trouble today for trespassing all right let's see how much that the last delivery was all right yeah it's gonna be oh my god look at that view son our right, Mulholland Drive does have views it's a main uh to drive oh check that out it just rained yesterday too man this is a perfect way to end the night get a nice flick check that out guys oh my god shit <laughs> post up right here man too bad this is a wide angle lens There it is, man. Let's see if I can get a nice picture of this. This camera sucks at night. Plus, the damn lens doesn't even work. Yeah, I won't even focus. What? My god, what happens? Look, it looks so good and then it just like... Okay, there. Yeah, it looks like shit. Ain't nothing compared to what it looks like in person. Alright, guys, well... That put me at 324. So I just gotta do one delivery going back home. Make another nine bucks. Your boy is set. That's what I did the other day, yesterday. I was going back home. I just needed one more delivery. I ended up scoring a $40 uh, McDonald's order. And, uh, and then a $25 DoorDash order. Wouldn't mind if that happens again. And, uh, yeah. Don't really care too much. As long as I hit go. Open? It might be open. Oh, snap, it is. Whoa. This thing was closed for years. This is where you come get the nice view. Where can I park? I can park right here. I'll be out of everyone's way. Let's go check this out. So right here, this is a... What is this place called? Something Overlook. But you might recognize it by the way the freeway looks. There's a lot of iconic pictures that have been taken here. 
there's stairs that you can go up and get like a wider view but I don't think I'm gonna do all that I wish I can get this lens to focus oh I got it if I can get just one shot that would be dope that is good enough it's alright Los Angeles downtown LA baby that's that's LA for you should just wrap up the video right now I just got a $12 offer for fat sales and with that I have hit my quota on day 15 of April behind bars baby I will try to get something back that way because what I did is I turned on DoorDash but in downtown LA so what it does is it tries to get you something along the way and it did just that this delivery is going east baby I'm gonna drop that keep the app on see if something goes to DTLA I'll pick that up and also anything with Uber Eats if it's um, along the way but yeah 336 so much I got so far damn this guy just straight up took the stop sign he slowed down a little bit picked up a $9 delivery of, from McDonald's not a $40 one like yesterday shit but uh <laughs> nine bucks will do it's along the way what's going on here You got someone under arrest or what? There's a bunch of cops there. We have you surrounded. Another cop right here up ahead. 